Hello and welcome to Penang Hokkien from scratch. My name is Timothy and I'm here to teach you the language. In Penang Hokkien from scratch, I usually look for questions and answers from real situations that you might encounter and even though they may seem a little bit random, I will think of what are instances where you may need to use Penang Hokkien. Whether you are someone who is a Malaysian who don't speak Penang Hokkien or you are a total foreigner who are living here in Penang and want to pick up the language. In, the, in today's episode, we are looking at the question what do you want to drink? But why do we handle why do we want to drink? Because if you come to Penang, most likely you will eventually end up in one of our coffee shop where you will go to the hawker to order the specific food and at the hawker stall, it is quite definite what you want to eat. But having ordered, you will go to your table, sit down, and the drinks waiter will come along and ask you, what do you want to drink? And that's when you have to give a proper answer. So, what do you want to drink? He may say, Lu ai lim hami or Lu bui lim hami. So, he will use either I, Lu ai lim hami or bui, Lu bui lim hami. I and bui is almost interchangeable. They are auxiliary verbs or modal verbs. That is to say, they are verbs that assist another verb in completing a question. So, lu ai lim hami. So, I will sandi will change his tone to I lu I le, and lim is to drink. Drink is lim, but when you put another word like hamid behind it, it becomes lim. Not lim, but lim. So I becomes I and lim becomes lim. Lu I lim hamid. Similarly, the word boy becomes boy. Lu boy lim hamid. Lu boy lim hamid. So both I and boy will sandi from citation tone into the sandi tone. So I becomes I and boy becomes boy. I means to like or to want or to desire. Where else boy is more definite to want. However, we use it almost interchangeably. You can say lu ai lim hamid and you can also say lu boi lim hamid. Okay, so the the drinks waiter come along and ask lu ai lim hamid and now it's your turn to answer. What do you want to drink? So there are a few common drinks available in Penang and Malaysia in general. The most common of them all would be coffee. So if you say coffee, coffee is kopi. It will come with milk. So it's ole. It's, it is ole or with milk. So by default, if you say kopi, kopi is coffee, you will get coffee with milk. And in fact, the whole establishment is called a coffee shop. Coffee shop is called kopi tiam. On its, own, on its own, the citation tone is kopi. But when you put another word behind it, the word tiam. Tiam behind it, kopi. Sundays to kopi. Uh, it's no longer kopi, it becomes kopi. So it's kopi tiam, not kopi tiam. Kopi tiam is wrong tone already. So you have to say kopi tiam. Kopi tiam is coffee shop. So at the coffee shop, you may ask for coffee, but that's not the only thing that they sell over there. But coffee itself, there's many types that you can ask for. So if you ask for kopi, then you are going to get the coffee hot. If you want iced coffee, you say kopi peng. So kopi has changed to kopi again. Kopi peng. So whenever you put another word behind it, the word in the citation tone will sandi into the sandi tone. So kopi becomes kopi peng. Kopi peng is iced coffee. Both kopi and kopi peng will come with shu uh, with milk. With milk. If you want your Coffee without milk, you have to say kopi o, kopi o, o is uh, black, so it's literally black coffee. So you're asking for black coffee, is kopi o, kopi, once again, sandis to kopi. So you say kopi o, not kopi o. On its own, is kopi, but with the word o behind it, it becomes kopi. Hence, Kopi or 
Similarly, if it's iced black coffee, it is kopi o peng. Not kopi peng o, no, no, no. Kopi o peng. So the o comes first and then comes the word peng. O means black, peng means ice. So iced black coffee is kopi o peng. Kopi o peng. And now, some people like myself usually take our coffee without sugar. Without sugar is called mai liao. Mai liao literally means without stuff. The stuff here means sugar. So mai liao, no stuff. Without sugar. So if you want coffee without sugar, or rather black coffee without sugar, it is kopi o mai liao. And by the way, when you're ordering coffee black, you often you drop the word coffee. So sometimes you will hear them say or look I lim me why lim or 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 my liao or my liao means coffee black without sugar. My liao is no sugar or uh, iced coffee black is or ping or ping even though on its own the whole whole word is Kopi o peng, but they have dropped the kopi already, so it becomes o peng. O peng, o peng mai liao. O peng mai liao means black, ice black coffee without sugar. And some people want it to be with just a little bit of sugar, not entirely without sugar. Then, if you want it to be slightly in the diluted form, it's called jia. Jia, jia is uh, with uh, less sugar. So you will say kopi o jia. That means hot black coffee with only slightly a little bit of sugar. Or iced black coffee with just a little bit of sugar is o peng jia. Or kopi o peng jia. Like that. Okay. And nowadays, it it is often saying that we take our coffee with tea. If we, we, uh, some people like, and sometimes I myself also take coffee with tea. And so, when it is coffee plus tea, we call it as cham. And it's usually ice. So, ice coffee with tea is called cham peng. The word cham means mix. Cham means mix. So, champeng, if you hear champeng, it means coffee plus tea with ice. So, champeng is one of the popular ways of, uh, or some of the popular coffee shop beverages. Another now getting more popular is to have coffee with Milo. Yeah, they put <laughs> uh, coffee with Milo. And that one has its own particular name. They call it Ho Ka Sai. Ho ka sai literally means uh, tiger biting the lion. So that's just a, a proper name. That's a proper name, a proper noun for coffee plus Milo. We call it ho ka sai. Ho ka sai ping. Uh, usually it's ice. If you ask for ho ka sai, you are going to get it with ice. So ho ka sai. And then tea on its own is called te. Tea is te. So I believe the word te is the derivative for the word tea because of the history of Hokkien seafarers who brought the word te all over even though there's another Chinese word for tea which is cha which also uh, bring about the word cha okay but the word for tea in Hokkien is te so te if you ask for te once again you are going to get tea with milk okay tea with milk we are talking about what we, they call as Ceylon tea Okay, uh, so you if you go to a coffee shop and you ask for teh, not a Chinese or Tim Sum place. If you go for a Tim Sum place, uh, and then you are going to get tea without sugar. But in a normal coffee shop, if you ask for teh, you are going to get tea, the uh, English tea or the Ceylon type of tea, and it will come with, without milk. If you say teh or, it will be tea without milk but with sugar. But if you want it without sugar, then you will say te o mai liao. So once again, mai liao is no sugar. Now, 
uh, tea without milk and with ice is te o ping. Te o ping is tea without milk but with ice. Te o ping. If it's tea with milk and with ice, it's simply te ping. So if you say te ping, it's tea with milk and with ice. So te ping, uh, if you say te on its own, is by default with milk. And if you say uh, mai liao, that is without sugar. If it's uh, without milk, that it is o, mm, te o, te o ping. So similarly, you say te o ping, the word o has sounded, it, has changed its tone to o, te o ping, not te o ping, but te o ping. So those coffee and tea are the most common drinks in local coffee shops. Aside from that, we also drink barley water, which surprises many Westerners because they have never seen barley water. Yeah, we drink barley also, which is barley cooked, and then they take the, the broth out of it, or the, uh, the, the extract out of it, so it's barley. Barley, if you go to the coffee shop and ask for uh, the barley drink, you just say barley, or barley ping. Another word for barley the, is EB. EB, if you say EB, it also means Bali. So I suppose Bali would be a loan word. But it is commonly used EB Peng or Bali Peng. So you say Bali Peng, EB Peng means Bali. If you put Peng, that means it's with ice. So those are the common drinks. Another common drink that we have here is Tao Zui. Tao Zui is soya bean drink soybean drink and it's available but some of it nowadays if it's not home cooked by the coffee shop then it will come in can or in bottles so what do you want to drink you can say what i lim tao zui now uh, if you want to say with ice here you it's not you you don't usually say tao zui ping but because the ice will be brought differently you are asked for sen or sen ka hawa sen ka Give me ice. Hoa sengka is give me ice. Sengka is ice, ice cubes. Ice is seng and cubes we call it as kak. Kak is ages. So sengka is ice cubes. Hoa sengka give me ice cubes. Seng is the citation form but we, when you put the word kak behind it, it becomes sengka. Sengka. Seng becomes seng. So, seng ka. So, give me ice cubes. Hoa seng ka. So, those are common words that you are going to encounter when you are in our local coffee shop in Penang and you want to attempt speaking Penang Hokkien. I hope that this short lesson will help you a little bit in ordering your drinks when you are in our Penang coffee shop. And so, here we are. That's the conclusion of today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please give the video a like so that YouTube will show it to more people, particularly those who are interested to pick up Penang Hokkien. And if you are one of them, please subscribe to the Learn Penang Hokkien YouTube channel. And I'll be seeing you again very soon. Come to Lutitin.